This video explains how to exit a game in Batakera. There are several ways to do this, depending on your preference and the type of game you're playing. 1. Using the Batacera menu. The most common and universal method is to press and hold the Select button on your controller. This should bring up the Batocera menu overlay. From there, you'll usually find an option to quit game or something similar. Just select it, and the game will close. If the Select button doesn't work, consult your emulator's specific instructions, as some older emulators might use a different key combination. 2. Using the controller's Start button. Some games, especially those emulated with RetroArch, will allow exiting by pressing the Start button on your controller. This might directly bring up an in-game menu with an exit option, or it might function as a shortcut to the main Batakura menu, from where you can quit as described above. This isn't universal. It depends on the game and emulator settings. 3. Using the power button. This is the most drastic method, but it works in a pinch. The power button on your device, arcade cabinet, Raspberry Pi, etc., will typically shut down Batosera completely, ending the current game. However, this is generally not recommended unless you experience a game freeze or other serious issue, as it could cause unsaved data loss. It's usually best to use the in-menu options. 4. Keyboard shortcuts, if applicable. If you have a keyboard connected to your Batosera system, you may find that pressing the ESC key will bring up the Batokera menu, providing a way to exit the game. This is primarily useful if your controller malfunctions or lacks certain button functionality. It's important to note that keyboard shortcuts aren't consistently supported across all games and emulators, so relying on the controller methods is generally safer. 5. Troubleshooting If none of these methods work, double-check your controller configuration in the Batakera settings to ensure the select button is properly assigned. Also, consider restarting your system or checking for any updates to Batakera to ensure everything is running smoothly. Remember to always save your progress within the game before exiting, if applicable, to avoid losing any game data.